The COVID vaccines provide robust protection against hospitalization and death, but when it comes to long COVID, the protection is very modest, NBC News reports. Oklahoma Republican Governor Kevin Stitt on Wednesday signed a bill into law banning abortions from the stage of fertilization and allowing private citizens to sue abortion providers who knowingly perform or induce an abortion on a pregnant woman. Appearing as a witness for Mr. Depp, whom she dated in the 1990s, the British model countered testimony by the actor's ex-wife, Amber Heard, who had alluded to a rumored incident between them. Boeing landed its uncrewed Starliner spacecraft in the New Mexico desert on Wednesday, completing a crucial test flight in preparation to carry astronauts. Daniel Brophy was killed as he prepped for work at the Oregon Culinary Institute in southwest Portland on June 2, 2018. Governor Greg Abbott responded to the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas on Wednesday and Beto O'Rourke interrupted during the press conference.